Uh, we're going to go through the map today as fast as we can. This is the publicly released mod pack slash map that you can play for yourself. Uh, you can download it on CurseForge right now and uh, have a good time. There's a bunch of secrets to find, um, but uh, yeah, as soon as I hit this pressure plate, I'm going to start the timer and we're just going to go for it. Three, two, one, go! Um, yeah, uh, so this map was uh, essentially only really intended to be played as a live streamed event, but we knew that there were going to be a bunch of people who requested to uh, play it themselves. So uh, we did end up releasing uh, the map for download and the mod pack, etc. Um, and yeah, uh, it's a good time. Um, we're gonna save a little bit of time here by uh, jumping through that window. Uh, if you've watched the Slime Showcase, you know that we just fully skipped the first Quizard Encounter. There's the bee! Um, and now we're moving on to uh, this little plaza area. Going that way is possible, but slow. So we're gonna do yet another window jump to get through here. Uh, that song that just played is a song that I made. Uh, crazy. Um, and yeah, one more window jump. We kind of botched that one, but that's okay. You can't win them all. And uh, yeah, now we're moving our way over to the Chronatorium. Um, I guess now's a good time to specify. I'm going on a uh, specific uh, all puzzles thing because um, it is technically faster to skip uh, a good majority of the puzzles in this uh, mod pack. Um, but uh, I don't want to skip them because they're cool and we put a lot of time into them. Uh, and I put a lot of time into uh, breaking them and I want to show them off. So yeah, um, but this one is kind of mandatory. Basically, we're going to be trying to get all of the quest items that they had to get uh, in the live stream version of the map. So uh, the slice of life and the capsule of time, the coarse matter and the varying flesh. And then we're going to have to beat uh, the uh, Gelatinosaurus Rex at the end of the map in order to call time. Um, so that's kind of the way that this is all going to kind of work out um but in order to do any of that we have to grab this temporal alternator um and get down to the bottom of the chronatorium just fall down there's no fall damage in this map which makes for some pretty funny uh memes and moments but yeah now we are gonna wait uh this is just a little little tiny cutscene. Uh, that our good man D Cave set up. D Cave did a lot of the command block magic on the showcase, and uh, it really shows. Uh, he just has such a good grasp of uh, the game mechanics and, and how to make it work. Um, the boss fight was him too, in this little thing. It's him. Um, but yeah, uh, now we're going to uh, split. Uh, and we're gonna get a move on. Uh, yep, we grabbed it. Okay, little uh, suboptimal, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna be spamming spacebar to go up the stairs. We actually got a pretty good speed boost from the Chronatorium there. Sometimes the uh, beacon speed will uh, continue to do its magic. And uh, yeah. Uh, as soon as that gets halfway up, I don't have to stand on it anymore because it'll just pop into position as soon as it's ready. And then this is going to come up and then that's going to blow up behind me as I put that in there. Uh, this is the little time puzzle in the map. You have to swap between two time periods. The way that it works is you get teleported up and down between two different versions of the room. And because of a minor discrepancy between the rooms, uh, you can break this pretty heavily by just falling out of the map, uh, falling down up here, jumping along this thing, and then falling out, grabbing that, 
and moving on. Um, so yeah, that's the entire Chronatorium done. Now we're onto the Hall of Heroes, uh, which is uh, another kind of puzzle-centric area of the map. Uh, the exterior and parts of the interior uh, were designed by Evan, um, and I did some of the uh, slime decorating around the place. Um, and yeah, uh, usually in the any percent run, this would be easier and faster to just uh, fully skip, but um, we are going fast today, so uh, we just want to do all the fun puzzles and stuff, show off how they're broken, and move on. This one you're supposed to flip some of the things around, um, but you can kind of cheat the system by jumping across the top like so. There's valves at the end of each room that need to be uh, turned, and so we're just gonna do that one that way uh, and move on to this pushable crate. Um, these puzzles were also designed by D-Cave. Um, what a king he was. Uh, he uh, set up these crates with a combination of the create models and command blocks and stuff, and it's truly wild. I do not understand how any of it is done. Um, but yeah, and then now um, we're gonna lose a bunch of time because this one is the hardest one to break. Um, but uh, there we go. Uh, we're gonna do that. We're gonna jump up here, land on this, and jump and turn the valve right there. Lost a little bit of time there, uh, uh, but that is totally fine. We're still gonna uh, make it out. Um, and yeah, now we're in the sewers. This is a part of the map that I spent a lot of time in working on. Um, Although this particular uh, stretch of the sewers was worked on by other people on the team, like uh, Tut, uh, and I'm losing uh, some of the names of people who worked on different <laughs> portions of it. Uh, it is a very large team that uh, put all of this together. Um, but yeah, um, the primary purpose of this is just uh, atmosphere and getting around and so we're gonna get around. Um, we're on our way to the rat town um, because uh, we like the rats um, and uh, we need their slice of life in order to complete the quest. Gonna do some minor time saves um, and then hit a corner and lose all of that momentum. Uh, this is all completely intentional, and I am very good at the game. Um, yeah, I did a lot of the slime uh, kind of decals and details around the place, but this town here is uh, pretty much entirely built by uh, a guy called Tolo. Uh, he joined our Discord and then built that and then kind of disappeared, but it was perfect, and we kept it completely in, um, unchanged. And, uh, yeah, now we're gonna grab the slice of life and move on with our life, um, and, uh, kind of just run around here, um, see if we can't get just a tiny boost off of those, uh, and go in there. Um, and yeah, now we're gonna uh, keep moving uh, in this area. Um, there's another Quizard encounter here, but we haven't met him and we don't really want to meet him, so we're gonna actually just swim under some barriers here, uh, which will allow us to fully fall underneath uh, and uh, get into the catacombs. Um, it is completely possible to skip this area of the map as well, but um, once again, we're doing an all puzzles run so that we can show off as much as possible. Uh, so, uh, we're just gonna keep moving on through here, uh, and, uh, do all of the, uh, little bits that we would otherwise completely miss out on in the regular map. Um, 
But yeah, there's Dampy. Uh, he's a reference to Dampe from the Legend of Zelda series. And uh, a lot of people did catch that in the comments. I didn't catch that and I was working on the project. <laughs> so uh, congrats to those people, shout outs. This song was by Lil Jerry. Um, there were a bunch of musicians. There were like over 50 tracks um, on each, uh, just on, uh, on the showcase map. Oh God, that's orange, that's not green. There we go. Um, sometimes you just have to know the solutions to the puzzles uh, and not mess it up. But yeah, uh, there were a lot of tracks, uh, a couple of, uh, like soundscapes, a lot of uh, fun stuff. Um, the team Discord was over 200 people. Uh, probably about 40 of them were actively working on this project, um, this particular map. Um, and uh, yeah, now we're in the stealth section. Um, we are just gonna try to move as quickly as possible. He's kind of standing in our way, so I'm going to see if we can't do... Okay, we can't do the funny, cool strat. Um, there's a way to uh, essentially hit the death trigger uh, and teleport yourself up to this area. Um, but uh, we uh, were too slow, too, too unskilled. Um, so we got to take that L and move on. Um, but... All things considered, that was a pretty good catacombs. Um, so now we're going to grab the uh, course matter and uh, move on with our day. I did this hallway. It is a pain to get through, but it looks really nice. Um, I also did. That's one of my favorite little slime bits. And there's I forget Cedric. That's his name. Uh, there was a little cockroach back there named Cedric. Uh, and he is my favorite part, and nobody has mentioned him, but he's my favorite character from the showcase. Uh, he has an AI, also set up by D-Cave. Uh, it's brilliant, and you should download the map and go find him yourself. Um, anyway, now we've got three of the ingredients, so we just need the fourth. So we're gonna go to uh, the Agura, and we're gonna uh, try to find the... Uh, the, the steak, the the varying flesh, that's what it's called. The the meat. We gotta go to Tony's meat shop and uh, get some meat on our bones. Um, this is my personal favorite area of the showcase. Um, I know that things aren't as pretty because I'm not using shaders just because my computer kind of sucks, but um, this is by far my favorite area. Um, there's a bunch of different tracks queued up in the playlist as well. So after one ends, there'll be a little bit of silence and then it'll uh, queue up the next tune. And it's just perfect. There's a pizzeria right there with some uh, staff cameos uh, that they didn't find in the actual showcase video. Once again, you can download the map for yourself and find all of these things. Um, but yeah, we're now going to grab that varying flesh through the back door of the meat shop uh, and launch ourselves over towards the exit um, using uh, a entrance way to uh, the Slung Top Hotel that also wasn't featured in the videos, but is also very fun. It's built by Mr. Kestrel, one of the build leads. Um, and yeah, now we're going to move on to the final area, uh, the Badlands, uh, where the lands are pretty bad. Um, and we're going to hope that we're facing the right way when we come out of this kind of sucks if we don't uh we we're not but that's okay we recovered and now we're moving we're moving we're grooving um this area i have not really figured out the optimal <laughs> path through because it is kind of just a straight line um for the most part um but yeah we're just gonna try to go as fast as possible this track was by Ninja Kittens. It's one of my favorites. 
Um, it's one of the only Badlands tracks we had, and so uh, we were kind of worried about that near the end of development. Um, but it all worked out, um, and we're about to go meet the Witch Doctor, who is definitely the real Witch Doctor and not uh, anyone else that we haven't met. Um, so yeah, uh, we're gonna fall in there and lose a little bit of time, and then we're gonna uh, jump up here uh, and hopefully not lose any more time. Um, I have gotten it to uh, soft lock here, uh, so I'm gonna be very careful when putting in the ingredients. Um, and then we're gonna get the witch doctor's key. Um, yeah, so the witch doctor's talking at us. Who's this guy? Um, and we're gonna grab these. Now, the reason that we're doing it this way uh, is because we're about to get a whole bunch of MacGuffins all at the same time. Um, look at all those. Uh, he's gonna eat that. Yummy. And uh, we're gonna get our little pieces to fly out of the uh, cauldron, land in our stomach. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And we're gonna go onward and upward uh, and lose just a little bit of time, but uh, hopefully it's okay. Um, we might be on for sub 20 if all goes well here, um, but we also might not be. So uh, we gotta be a little bit careful. Um, I haven't been able to get a sub 20 minute uh, run of all quests yet um so it would be pretty cool if that happened but if it doesn't that's okay i got to show you all the cool strats and stuff um this area was the last area we built and it's a little less detailed than the others um kind of just because we felt like we were closing up on the uh showcase time and uh we just kind of wanted to be done. <laughs> uh, but we've got all these uh, slimosaurs and uh, funny little trees. Uh, and we're gonna move towards the end. Once again, the uh, lack of fall damage has really done wonders for us, giving us the ability to fall into this cavern uh, without having to worry for our lives. Um, not that there aren't any dangerous things down here, we are about to fight uh, one of those things. Uh, we're following a trail of smoky footprints and... Uh, oh man, looks like they did a lot of damage to that pillar. Um, and this is supposed to be one of those aqueducts from uh, the ruins above uh, that you just didn't really get to see. Um, but yeah, now we're gonna get in here. He's gonna roar at us. The sick music is gonna start playing and we're gonna jump across on those two little red slime blocks and make our way over here. And now that we're over here, uh, we can go up onto this thing and do a similar thing to what we did earlier um, where we uh, land uh, we kind of air strafe and uh, just force feed this Gelatinosaurus Rex until it falls asleep. Um, and yeah, that's kind of the plan. Um, we're just going to keep doing this until uh, the bar fills up and we're going to uh, do a tactical death here um, and make our way downtown walking fast. Faces past and we're homebound. Um, yeah, uh, and now we have the steam train fanfare, um, brilliant as always. Hit this switch, uh, take this elevator up. It's a little slow for my taste, but there's not really much that I can do to speed it up. Uh, so we're just gonna accept that this is the end and be greeted with somber music as we uh, hit the top of the elevator and uh, make our way up. This is a really slow staircase, um, so we might not get sub 20. Uh, the time will be when we uh, talk to Slamantha at the end of the map. We decided that was the uh, 
closest thing to the uh, end of the showcase because she literally says this is the end of the showcase in her dialogue box. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to just uh, jump across, jump over here, make our way over, and uh, with the grace of an eagle, uh, talk to her and uh, get a gold split and call it a day. Um, that was the Crips and Creepers Slime Showcase. Uh, I'm going to just quickly go uh, into the uh, final house and show some of the fantastic faces of the people who worked on this uh, project. Um, just because they did a lot of work and put a lot of care into it. Um, and uh, they all did such a fantastic job. Um, and I'm also there as well. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, just gonna... Um, I don't have any information about when the next showcase will be. So if you're interested in uh, following this project further uh, and finding out what uh, is up with it and uh, when the next thing is going to happen, there is uh, always Crips and Creepers at Crips and at Crips Creepers on uh, Twitter.com. Um, and uh, of course, Rubber Ross himself. But yeah, I'm going to call it good and uh, I will see you guys sometime uh if the next map can be speed ran have a good day mm -hmm.